Today, we're going to take a look at Orléans Trade and Intrigue, an expansion for the bag-building Euro game Orléans. A big thank you to Tasty Minstrel Games for providing us with a review copy of this expansion. The Trade and Intrigue expansion for Orléans was designed by Rainer Stockhausen, which is the designer of the original game. Features art by Clemens Franz, again, matching the original game. It was published in 2016 by Tasty Minstrel Games and was nominated for the Golden Geek Best Board Game Expansion Award that year. Now, this is the second expansion for Orléans. And to use this expansion, you do need to have Orléans, but you don't need to have the first expansion, which was Invasion. So for a good look at what comes in this expansion for Orléans, be sure to check out our unboxing video on YouTube. Now, one notable thing about this expansion right off the bat is the box. Orléans Trade and Intrigue comes in a rather thin box, and I mean thin by a couple of ways. Because for one, it's just like two or three punch boards thick, like it's a quarter of an inch thick. Plus, it's very thin cardboard itself. Like it's 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 a not what you'd call a board game box. It's the kind of box you get stuff in, right? Uh, what this means is it's pretty much a disposable box. Now, the contents of this box are meant to be punched out and put with the main game, not kept in this box. Now, inside this disposable box, you will find some punch boards. Uh, you got 34 new event tiles, three new place tiles, and 10 cover tiles used to cover up spots on the new boards when playing with less than four players. Uh, there are two double-sided new boards and a deck of 23 order cards. And then finally, you have a fold-out uh, rule book that's three panels, six, if you count both sides, six pages. So while I personally love the ability to fit expansions into the main box and get rid of all that extra cruft, I know there are some folks out there who mm -hmm. love to keep things in their place. And this style of board game expansion might bug those folks. Yeah, which is why I thought it was worth bringing it up because it is going to bother. I and mean, you can't fit this box in the original box either. It's not quite small enough. Now, the Trade and Intrigue expansion for Orléans adds four new optional rule modules. I would almost say five because there are also three new play styles to go with the base game. And I'm going to take a look at each of these in detail, starting with the play styles. So you get two new level one places, one new level two plays. Uh, level one, there's the Brasserie, which provides wine and cheese. There's the Merchant House, which awards points at the end of the game for collecting the most of the five different types of goods. Now at level two, you have a sheep farm, which is going to let players convert the cheese good into their choice of wool, money, or progress on the development track. So nothing too outlandish here. These feet fit in nicely with what I recall being in the original game and should just be a comfortable fit for all players. Totally agree. Now the orders expansion adds a pickup and deliver element to Orleans, something totally new in the game. Five order cards are displayed at the top of the board. Each shows one of the cities located in the board and a number of goods that that city wants and a number of victory points for delivering those goods. During a player's turn, if they're merchants at one of the cities and they're able to discard the goods shown on the card, they can claim it. They then score the points on the card at the end of the game. Again, this is, while, while new, it does fit the game rather nicely and just seems like a natural extension mm -hmm. of the base game. Next, we have the new events. Now, for this one, you are tossing out the current event deck and replacing it with a completely new one. Now, this new one, unlike the original one, has the tiles broken into four sets labeled A, B, C, D. And each game, you're going to randomly use four out of each set, which means that you're, gonna always, you're not always going to know what's in the deck each time. Now, these do all kinds of different things, either giving players new options or limiting their options for that round. Overall, they're more varied, and the way the deck is stacked makes it so that events come out in a less random order, with the especially punishing events only happening near the end of the game where players can afford the punishment. So this is a full replacement, but not something really you need to relearn if you, unless you've played enough and are so used to the originals that you're expecting them and, and planning for that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the easiest modules to use is the new Beneficial Deeds board. All you do is leave the original board in the box and put the new one out instead. This new Beneficial Deeds board provides a wider variety of in-game rewards for promoting your workers using the Town Hall action as well as some of the play styles. In the original game, all you ever got for promoting was a bit of extra money and the potential to gain citizens if you complete one of the tracks. This new board has changed that so you get a wealth of new options. Now, I'm not going to go into each different possible spot on the board. I do do that on the written version of the review. But what I will say here is there are a lot of variety with spaces that give trade goods, 
that let you move your merchant more easily, give you access to building place tiles and technology tiles. Overall, just a lot more than just getting a couple bucks and some new citizens. Yeah, this one can be a bigger game changer than some of the earlier ones. It opens up whole new strategy potentials uh, based on how you use this board compared to just getting some cash and people. Yep. Now, the entry board is similar. It's equally easy to, to add. You're doing the same thing. What you do is you toss out the original Beneficial Deeds board and put out this new entry board. This is similar to the Beneficial Deeds board, except all of the things you do here don't really give you more things. Rather, they pretty much punish your opponents. Like This adds a player versus player backstabbing element to Orléans. Now, again, I'm not going to go into detail of each spot on the board. There are a lot, but some of them include things like fraud, which lets you swap goods with an opponent, say trading in your grain for their cloth, arsonist that lets you burn down an opponent's trading house, or the hangman, which lets you kill a random follower from your opponent, uh, and the spy, which lets you steal technology tiles from their board and put it on yours. Now, one interesting thing they did add with the uh, Intrigue board is the ability to bribe your opponents. When you're about to do something nasty to someone else, they can bribe you with coins or goods. And if you accept, then the action doesn't go through. Yeah, now this one, I'm not sure. I'm not the sort who loves backstabby games. Uh, I don't even generally play PvP <laughs> video games. So yeah. this one's really kind of not for me. I'd all start with to talk about this this overall is that I am very glad that the rules are optional and modular because there are some things here I love, uh, some things that are okay, and something I don't plan on ever using again. Now, again, I'll go through my thoughts on each of these. Uh, first up, the new buildings. They're fine. Toss them in, use them, forget about them. They're there from now on. Sure, there's new buildings. Yeah, this that one's just a complete no-brainer. Yeah, now the orders. Uh, this one, I've gotten mixed reviews from the people I played with. Uh, for example, Deanna is not a fan of these new rules at all. Personally, I like them. I thought adding pick up and deliver to this was cool. I had no problem with that. There were more reasons to move my guy around the board, and it greatly changes the value of the good tiles, and I thought that was a good thing. Because in the original game, good tiles are just points, whereas now I can use them for other things. But there's a problem with the order uh cards and that's finding the cities on the boards now anyone who's played ticket to ride is going to recognize this this is way worse than this game the font used on the board for the city names is tiny and it's written in script that's not easy to read i it gets honestly i cannot see anyone be able to read this from across the table you basically have to lean over to the board to be able to read them now i do know a friend who actually went and hand printed new city names and stuck them on their board so they're nice and visual, which is cool. And I admit, I'm tempted to do the same to use this module a little more often. But that's not something I should have to do. Modify my game to make this work. As for orders, I don't know. I could take it or leave it. Like, I like it, but I'm fine with not using it if someone at the table doesn't like it. Yeah, even with good eyes so that the size doesn't matter, the typeface choice is absolutely problematic. It may also become a familiarity issue if you've played enough. Some people may just know where the cities are. Mm, true. Uh, another option could be a small uh, cheat sheet by your, you know, that you you have on your side, so you can just glance at that and 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 map that to the to the board. Yeah, the design of the cards could have been better too, because they just show a picture of the city, or if they showed a map with the city highlighted or something, right? It's just yeah. some poor design choices went into that. Now we go to the new events. I love these. These are fantastic. Well, there's something to be said for the original game because it was perfect information. You always had the same events. You knew they were going to come up. You knew if you hadn't seen TAC yet, it was going to happen by the, by the end of the game. Now, there is something to be said for that, but I had way more fun playing with the randomness and variety of the new events. Even more importantly, I appreciate the fact the deck is now stacked and timed with that ABCD so that different things happen in different parts of the game. So no longer do you start off the game and get taxed and you haven't collected any goods, so no one pays anything. Or you get money for progress on tracks that you couldn't have possibly gone up on yet. That was just a little too common for me in the original game. Of all the elements, including trade and intrigue, this is the one thing I will use every game. Like I have literally taken my original ones out and put them in a separate little plastic baggie that I don't plan to ever open again. Yeah, I look forward to seeing these on the table myself to get the feel, but they certainly sound more well-balanced and, and enjoyable. 
Now, the other aspect I plan to use pretty much every game I ever play going forward is going to be the new Beneficial Deeds board. I think this board is a huge improvement over the original. The rewards on the old board just weren't interesting or useful. Like, it was just a bit of money. Like, it just wasn't cool. Like, eh, I got some money. Maybe I got a citizen. Yeah, the citizens are important. You want citizens. Your end score is you add up your trading houses plus your citizens and times by your um, how far you are on the uh, discovery track. So you need them. It's a multiplier. But other than that, like, ooh, I got some coins. I, now you have all these new ways to do stuff. You have new ways to move up the development board. You have another way to get place tiles that doesn't involve having to buy um, traders. You have ways to get technology tiles that don't require you to build craftsmen. Uh, you've got another way to get goods, which is another nice upgrade, especially if you're using that orders module so you can get the goods you need to deliver. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, thumbs up for this component, 100%. Now, finally, we get to the Intrigue board. I, straight up, I don't like it. I didn't like it at all. I didn't enjoy using this board. While it does greatly increase the interaction, because a lot of people have complained Orleans Multiplayer Solitaire, and this is a direct effort by the designer to address that, this isn't the kind of interaction I find fun. The types of actions you can take on this board are just mean and overly punishing. I don't enjoy it in any game, a strategy game where I can plan out my move two moves ahead and I carefully plan out the strategy to get exactly the resources I need. I'm ready to carry it out. I got the right pull from my bag. And then another player uses this take cat action and ruins all my work. And that is pretty much what every one of these actions on that intrigue board feels like. It's just punching you down. Now I know there's going to be groups out there that like this style of play. Like I know a local group that I would bet good money will not play Orleans without using this board. Cause that's the kind of play they like. They like in their face interaction, but it's not something I've enjoyed and neither have any of the other players I've tried using this board with. Like at this point, I don't plan on ever using this board ever again. Yeah. Now, interestingly, we had actually been warned about this board by some local players and they were right. It's just not the style of game we enjoy. No, not at all. Sorry, designer, not for me. Overall, though, I got to say, Orléans Trade and Intrigue is very much worth picking up for fans of Orléans. Like, come on, this box came with five things, right? Five things. Two of them, I don't mind at all. Like, I actually like them. I'm not negative towards them at all. I'll use them, take them or leave them. If other people don't want me to use them, that's fine. Two more modules I am going to use every time I play going forward. And then there's one module I didn't like. You know what? That's pretty good odds to me. And even the module I didn't like, I can see how some groups would enjoy that. And if that's your thing, if you like stabbing each other in the back, intrigue you're going to love. And then you leave that beneficial deeds board that's just everyone getting free stuff. Well, for a more in-depth look at the trade and intrigue expansion for Orleans, you can head over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on reviews.